Hey, so this week I wanted to talk about the difference between community and network. Um, this is about my fifth time of trying to record this video today, and for some reason it's become really, really hard. Uh, it's it's feeling inauthentic. It's it's feeling like we're just scratching the surface. So, what triggered me to want to record this video this week is that um, here in Queenstown. We're in the middle of our uh, summer tourism period. Um, we're also in the middle of fire season. Um, and we've had a really, really tough week. We've had a number of car accidents on the road, some of which have been fatal. And the whole community is just reeling. This group of people who live here are, are just they're devastated by what's going on. They're incredibly frustrated at the, the, the lack, the, just the unnecessary nature of what's happening. Um, and it's stirred up a lot of stuff that is um, not nice and um, and is sort of pointing the finger and, and all of those things. And part of why I wanted to talk about this uh, this topic today is that it, we're right in the middle of this really messy aspect of building community. So when I was in Melbourne um, and part of the project management communities over there, um, I used to attend regular networking ev events, we'd have uh, chances to meet up and learn and share with other people who did a similar job to us. You know, you're always meeting people through your job and uh, it, it was very much a network. It was something that at the end of the day you'd go home and you'd, you'd sort of put it to one side and, and you'd get on with the rest of your life. And these people, beautiful, wonderful as they as they were, and and you know we shared connections about passion for what we were doing, um, and yet it, it wasn't it, it's it doesn't didn't have the same depth as um, some of the connections that I've found here in a small town, volunteering as a member of the local fire brigade. Um, so so as a member of the fire brigade, we will get called out to accidents, same as an ambulance officer. And there's about 10 to 15 in our local brigade. Uh, and, and these are people that, uh, some of whom I see very, very rarely. They maybe pass on the street in a small town. Um, others of whom are good friends and colleagues, and we see a lot of each other. Uh, and all of whom are very, very diverse, very different people, different communication styles, different upbringings, different backgrounds, different values. And I think what's really struck me is that, uh, you know, seeing some of the things that you do and um, and and going through some of the, the things that you do, um, th this team becomes like family. They are there for you 24-7. Um, you have a connection that goes beyond simply the face that you choose to present to the world and gets into the messy, gritty, this is me under pressure, this is me at my worst, this is me when I'm, I'm breaking down, um, and this is me when I'm on form, performing at my best, you know, nailing it. Uh, and, and I guess it's, it's, it's been really interesting to com contrast and compare the two, because I think in business a lot of the time we focus on building the network, because it's safe, because we can do it in a way where we, we show up and, and we're able to present a face to the world. Um, and that, that gives us a little bit of safety too. Uh, but the benefit of aspiring towards community as something that is greater than simply a network, uh, it, it's, it's a leap of faith. It requires you to get down and dirty and messy. Um, we have a local Facebook group here in Queenstown um, which has been bombarded with photos and commentary, and some some of it's been pretty horrific over the last couple of weeks. Um, and and to see today a, a slight change in some of the way that the comments are coming through, and, and you know people being vulnerable and saying I'm really struggling with this, and you know I, I'm trying to do something that I think is good, but it's coming off as bad. That messy toing and froing, and that grey matter, and that not knowing what's right. It's not black and white anymore. All of that, uh, all of that messiness, um, all of that kind of raw vulnerability is something that you have to traverse if you're to get from simply a network through to true community. And I think the other thing that's really struck me um, within the brigade is, is watching this group of very diverse people to come together. And part of um, probably one of the biggest factors in 
why we have such a strong sense of community in that group is that we are all so driven by a common purpose. So all of us show up for different reasons, but we all share this belief around service to community. Um, we're here because we want to uh, create a better world for our neighbours, our friends, our colleagues, the people we meet on the street, the people that are visiting here. And that core purpose is something that binds us together as a group and helps get us through the really messy stuff. So I'm going to continue wrestling with this today. Um, and I, I guess I'm, I'm really keen to hear your comments back as well. Where do you see this show up in your environment, work environment, home environment? Um, and, and let's start to sort of tease out some of the subtlety around this, because the benefit of getting to that place where um, you've got a group of people that are, are truly knitted together and have shared the best of times and the worst of times, you know, the, the benefit that comes from that and the, the deeper sense of security as a group, is, it's just incredible to witness and to be a part of. So I'm Danelle Jones, Tribe Leadership Retreats. Thank you so much for your time. Love to hear your comments in the uh, in the comment section below.